Fleshwater, Linda Clare, Guitar Tabs and Guitar Lesson. So a special tuning note with this one. Uh, I'll be arranging this in a drop B tuning. Um, I think they might be using baritone guitars because you know the lowest note they hit, and this is an open B note. And uh, you know you can either do like this, just drop it down, or with you know the baritone guitars, they're kind of like made to be down like that anyway. So uh, for this, I'll be doing a drop B, uh, you know, kind of a rarer tuning. So if you if you like to play more in like just a drop C, because there's a lot more stuff going on with drop C tunings. You could play it just the same in a drop C, but just know that you'll be, you know, a half step uh, higher than the recorded version here. Uh, but I'll just stick with the recorded tuning here. So drop B. So we got the low B. All right. Then we got the F sharp for the fifth string, and then of course back to the B at the fourth string here. All right. Third string would be E. Second string G sharp, and the first string would be C sharp. Okay, so all that tuning business out of the way. We start with uh, the intro slash, you know, main verse pattern here. And we're gonna be starting with these octaves. And uh, right here at the fourth fret on the fifth string, and then we'll want the octave, so we got the sixth fret on the third string. And with this, we just kind of go strum, strum, and then we do this kind of slightly distant thing where we just make that four a five, keep that six on the G, all right? get that once, go back to four with the six a couple times. All right, and then we're gonna kind of scale it up where we go. That shape, just take it all up to the five and seven, then up to the seven and nine. Okay, and then we'll switch to these low octaves here at the fourth fret on the sixth string here. And then, you know, with this tuning, we'll get the octave at the fourth fret on the uh, fourth string here. So with, with that, so four and four, just kind of skip that fifth fret or fifth string and hit that a couple times and then we end on this kind of big dissonant chord uh, hitting the four on the the low B here the sixth string and then we'll want a five on the fifth string and then under that we could just do an open fourth string and an open third string all right we we'll just kind of hit that and let it ring okay for this chorus section this is really where we need that open low B power chord. Okay, so we're gonna start it here and just do like a power chord vibe now. So just fourth fret on the sixth, fifth, and fourth string. And with this, we strum it one, two, three, four, five, up to the fifth fret. Okay, and then hold that just a moment. Lift off to opens, all right, for that open low B power chord. Let that ring just a moment, and then we're gonna do this octave bend at our four on the fifth string and six on the third string. We just do these real kind of deliberate like strumming bends. So it's just one, bend it, bend it, bend it. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, there's a little bit of a, a curve ball for the second verse, you know, towards the end of the second verse. Kind of starts the same way, but then it, it switches to this lower octave uh, where we'll be at our four and four here, the sixth and fourth string, fourth fret. And with this, we just go strum, strum, take it up to the fifth fret. Okay, strum there, back down to the fourth fret for a couple, back to the fifth fret, up to the seventh fret, and then lift off and hit opens. For the bridge, like the tempo picks up, you know, or, you know, we start double time and whatever. And uh, then we get this bridge riff, and it's kind of doing some similar stuff we've seen, but we're strumming just kind of more like eighth note style on this. All right, so we just go fourth fret power chord. And we just go one, two, three. Zoom up here to the seventh fret, one, two, three. Lift off to the opens for one, two, three. And then we would go to our, our octave that we use a lot here, that four and six on the fifth and third string. And then just strum that out, you know, about seven times. There's a bit of a lead part that comes over the top of the bridge riff. It just kind of takes these higher octaves. Um, starts here at the a third, it's basically just using a third and first string. So it's, you know, kind of hit hit the uh, the right fret, skip over three onto the high string here. So this shape. And we're gonna do sixth fret and ninth fret here. And we're just bring it up. So with this, we can just hit it once at the six and nine, take it up to the nine and 12, and then take it up to 11 and 14. 
and uh, I'm kind of in a uh, you know bad spot here because I don't <laughs> I don't have enough frets on this guitar. But uh, basically, we would want to take 19th fret. All right, make sure we got that 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So way up here, and uh, you know if I had more frets, I would go with the 19 and the 22nd fret, and with that we just strum it out drop it down a fret to the 18 and 21 all right and then just go back to 19 22 18 21 and just bounce between those a couple times uh, for the outro it's basically a previous thing we've seen but we're just kind of like messing with the the dynamic of it like the timing and all that it's everything kind of like drops back into a, a more s uh, spread out timing on this where uh, we'll be at our fourth fret power chord and it's just kind of a one two three four five up to the fifth fret hit it lift off for the opens and you know repeat that whole thing a couple times and then we can mix in those bends those octave bends with the four and six again and it's you know just kind of slowed down